name is Lauren King. Welcome to today's video. So today I am doing the real research for you guys. I've gone on Amazon and I've selected some of the best, cheapest, last minute costume ideas for Halloween. So all of these ideas are under $20 and they're all on Amazon Prime. So if you're a last minute person like me, you can get these in one to two days, no problem. There are some that I think could be really great and there are some that could go either way. I haven't opened them yet, so we're gonna see them for the first time together. We've got quite a few costumes to go through, so let's just dive right in. So costume number one is, <laughs> the concept for this one was Sailor Moon. That was the route that I was going on Amazon. So I was searching for Sailor Moon costumes. The issue was that they were all in China, which means that for a last minute idea, it wouldn't really work. So this one, I feel like it's like Sailor Moon inspired. It's definitely like anime Sailor Girl, but it's on Amazon Prime and it's under $20. So you can't really beat that. It is one size fits all, which is, I guess, the most interesting part of this costume. I'm not gonna show you really, but like, it's Velcro like this. So that's how it's one size fits all. Is it really one size fits all? I'm not sure. I would say, what do you think? Like, it would fit like a double zero to like a six. But if you're over a six, it's still cute. It just, it just, it just is really small. Like, okay. There's not much coverage in the back. So that's just all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> it's really cute though. Like it feels cute to wear. And I think that if you tucked it on the bra, like, if you tuck it under your bra, because it is a little bit loose here for one size, then it would be like an even sexier look. Honestly, this may be more of like a costume for the bedroom, but it's a really good deal because for under $20, you also get the little thigh high socks. So it's three pieces. So a three piece costume for under $20. That's not bad. That's not bad, honestly. Outfit one, little anime sailor schoolgirl. This is outfit number two. This is Roman girl. All in all, this feels more Halloween costumey. I mean, the other one was cheap in terms of material, but this just feels like very plasticky. But that being said, it does have three pieces again. It comes with the belt, the toga dress, and the headpiece. You kind of get what you pay for, I guess. I feel like this is a really good college costume. I feel like there's so many like toga parties, or maybe that's just in movies. But I feel like toga party is definitely a college thing. If you had to go to like a family party, I feel like this is also appropriate. It's not necessarily a sexy costume. It definitely does the job. It just doesn't feel like as cute or as special as the previous one. Of the Greek type Halloween costumes, this one was by far the best and the most simple. It is a little bit see-through, but it's not horrible. You could always just wear like a little white slip under it and it is double lined in like the boob area. It also has these like plastic straps here, but I think that you could cut these out if you were actually gonna wear it because this plastic halter neck, it goes all the way around and it's completely enough to hold the dress in place. It does the job. I think I would rate this one six out of 10. It's not my favorite. It's a little bit itchy and uncomfortable, but it's family appropriate and it could take you from trick-or-treating to the bar. <laughs> Outfit number three, you are a pumpkin. You are a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. <laughs> I love this. I was honestly most excited about this costume because when are you ever a jack-o'-lantern as an adult? Like, I don't think I've ever been a pumpkin in my entire life. I've probably never been a vegetable, period, let alone a pumpkin. I do have to say that maybe it's not like the best quality because what is this called? Leaf? My stem? Your little pumpkin stem is a little bit floppy. It's basically completely made of felt. I mean, I think it was like $13. So again, you're getting what you're paying for. I actually really, really like this and I have to tell you a story. I use my mother's Amazon Prime because everyone uses their mother's Amazon Prime. She calls me and she goes, hey, I was just wondering why you needed 10 Halloween costumes. So I sort of was like, oh no, 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 I'm filming a video. And she was like, okay, because I thought that you were going to have a party and everyone was going to have to go and change into a costume that you already bought. And I was about to feel really, really bad for whoever chose the pumpkin. But I don't know. I would feel happy to be the pumpkin. It's like comfy. You can move around. You can dance. You can eat. Like you're not constrained. I'm really fucking with this pumpkin right now. I feel cute. I mean, it's definitely silly. It's not the sexiest you're ever going to look, but like, 
<laughs> no, come no, in the video. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my friend and I love the pumpkin. I don't know. I'm giving this. I'm giving this a seven out of ten. What's your rating? Out of ten. Yeah, seven, seven and a half. If you want to be a pumpkin, it's a ten out of ten. Kind of reminds me of the How I Met Your Mother, where there was like the pumpkin. It was one of the earlier episodes, and he was chasing after like a pumpkin that he met one Halloween. Cute. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Okay, so most of these things are actually my own, paintbrush included. Um, the skirt is a children's skirt. I went with the children's because it was cheaper than the adults, and it was Amazon Prime. The adults was like $10 more expensive, and it wouldn't have gotten here in time. So this is actually a children's little girl's age 5 to 7 skirt, but it's super, super, super stretchy. So I feel like, honestly... This can fit any woman. It's like one size for any adult. It's just it gets like sluttier and sluttier. You know, the bigger you are, <laughs> the shorter it gets. So yeah, the children's skirt, I thought it was gonna come with this little blouse that looked like it had a tie printed on it, but it turns out it was just the skirt. I happen to be a Harry Potter enthusiast, so this is my own authentic Slytherin headband, my own authentic Slytherin cardigan, and an authentic Slytherin scarf for your butterbeer on the go. This is really cute and honestly, if you are a little girl, this is a great costume for like your daughter or your little sister. I feel like this costume is really good if you wanna go from family time to a party also because it can either be very wholesome or very sexy depending on how you dress it up and how you accessorize it. Like if you throw a bra with this and some knee high socks, you're getting real sexy real fast. As of right now, I feel like I'm a very authentic Hogwarts student, so I'm late to potions. <laughs> this was by far the cheapest of the costumes. I think this was only $12, and they had it in a bunch of different colors. So it comes with the mask, and it comes with these wings, and it connects around the neck like a little choker, and then you put your little fingers through it so that you can flutter around. This is definitely wholesome. I could see you wearing this if you're like your parent or if you're a teacher and you have something like daytime where you need to wear actual clothes and just have a touch of costume. Alternatively, I could see you wearing this to a rave. <laughs> so again, this could go either direction, but this is fun. I really like this. I don't know. I've never worn anything like this. I've never wanted to be a butterfly before, but this is very freeing. And it honestly doesn't feel that cheap either. Like it's pretty substantial. This costume, so the character is Lila from Jonah Hex. I'm not familiar with whatever Jonah Hex is. I'm assuming it's sort of like a TV show or a comic book. But I thought that this outfit for the price was the best deal because it's the most complete. So you get the dress, you also get this rose. It's actually like a pin and you pin it here. And you get these like very specific lace gloves with like the separated thumb area. So I just thought that for this price, this was the most complete, like the absolute best deal. Even if you don't know who Lila is, I feel like it's very wild, wild west or very pirate chic. There are definitely strings sort of falling out of it here and there, but it's a Halloween costume. So what do you expect? Um, but let me show you. This is how it looked on the model. And I feel like it's pretty much how it looks in person too. So. Five stars for Lila from Jonah Hex. And it's not as itchy as the Roman girl costume. That costume fucked me up. I'm like all red around here from wearing that. But this is really comfortable. The lace isn't itchy at all. It's super soft. I wasn't really having high hopes for this one, but I think that it's actually turned out to be my favorite. It's really fun to wear. It's kind of sexy, but you still have a lot of clothes on. Like I don't feel like I'm naked at all. That's really cute. Yeah, this is really cute. I don't know who Lila is, but she was a bad bitch. Kind of feels very, like, saloon. But yeah, so you could take this in so many different directions. Like Suhi said off camera, very Westworld saloon vibes. And then again, also you could go very Pirates of the Caribbean with, like, a huge pirate hat. I think that would be cute, too. So if you're looking for something last minute on Amazon, I hope that some of these ideas have helped you out. 
even if you're very, very last minute. All of these items were on Amazon Prime. Not sponsored, but I am available. Amazon, hit me up. If you use any of these costumes, be sure to let me know down below or tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see. Okay, so which were our favorite costumes? Oh, I like the pumpkin. I like this one a lot. And so, one. right. So we loved the pumpkin, surprisingly. I mean, it's so left field. Is that the phrase? Okay, the pumpkin was so left field. Love the pumpkin. Love the anime schoolgirl, even though it's debatably unwearable. Love this one. I mean, honestly, I gotta say, I kind of liked all of them. The only one that felt less special to me was probably the Roman girl. But all in all, there was nothing wrong with that costume. It just wasn't my vibe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. You don't want this touch, better not come crying.